world champions is a draw. Mr. Tyson, what do you think of that? I, I, I'm good with that. You think you won the fight? Yeah, but I'm good with a draw. Why? Because I entertained the crowd. The crowd was happy with it. We'll be back to you in a second. You happy with this draw? Hell no. I ain't never said if I were to draw. I wear draws. I don't do draws. <laughs> I like it. But the dude is so strong, man. And I understand why they say some things are bucket list. Because when he hits you, if it's his head, his punches, his body shots, don't matter. Everything hurts. So for me, I thought I did enough boxing on the outside to edge it out. But, you know, I'm cool with a draw. I mean, we just might have tried to do it again. But I don't know. <laughs> you looked exhausted for a little while. Did the body shots take a toll? The body shots definitely took a toll. The body shots are what make you exhausted. Any good fighter knows that. And I knew it, too. I thought I had a six-pack that was all right, but I guess I'm going to have to give me a 12-pack because the six ain't getting it. You took it. It came back like nothing. You took it. You took it. I knew I hit you with a good shot. You took it. You took it. I'm a game I respect hate. I respect that. I respect that. Mike, at age 54, you haven't been in the ring for 15 years. How would you assess your performance, your stamina, and overall how you perform? Well, I'm used to doing it for three minutes. And um, sometimes that two minutes felt like three minutes. <laughs> and um, I'm just happy I got this under my belt and I'm continuing to go further and do more. You'll do this again? Absolutely. He's going to be on the card as well. Well, let me, let me ask you about your performance. What, what was it like for you to be in the ring as compared to what it was when you left as a professional? I was very happy to be here. And, um, despite, your performance-wise? Yeah, despite what anybody said. But despite what everybody said, I was so happy to go to eight rounds. But everybody knows I can knock somebody out. But everybody don't know I can go to eight rounds and ten rounds. And that's what I'm more grateful for now than anything. And no knockers. Knockers don't mean nothing. You got to be able to go the distance. That's fighting. Everybody has a plan until they get hit. Yeah. You got hit. And, and how went, did it affect you? I went to plan B. I hit him back. <laughs> Uh, Roy, uh, you want to continue this now at age 51, or, or, or did you get dissatisfied at this point? Man, it's hard to say. My Pensacola fans love me. No, we got to do this shit again. Everybody. We got to do this again. Everybody loves Mike. Um, I love Mike, too. But, uh, you know, it's something to take them punches in there from Mike. So, you know, I go talk to my family, see how they feel about it. If they thought they enjoyed what they saw, then if we want to do it again, we'll come back and do it again. But, uh, you know, me, like I said, Pensacola in the house. I want to thank everybody who helped me out. Big Al, Tom, Wap, um, Russ, everybody on my team, Jim Foster. I mean, so many people, everybody in Pensacola, Pensacola in the house still. Thank y'all for tuning in. Thank the whole world for tuning in, especially my, Rus my Russian citizens, my Russian people. Um, I want to say thank to everybody who gave us the homage, sent us out the right way. And if everything goes well, like I said, and the family's cool with it, then... A lot of people were afraid, Roy, you might get hurt tonight. Were you really afraid in the back of your head that something could happen that, that might have put you in peril? I was afraid I might get hurt. I, was, I, I didn't fight in 20 years. He only fought, stopped fighting for three years. I'm afraid I might get Why nobody care about my ass? Well, that's fight, typical, right? I didn't fight in 15 years. He stopped fighting three years ago, and anybody worrying about his ass. No, nobody thinks that a giant is going to fall. I haven't did this in 15, 16 years. I'm not a giant. I'm a beginner. Did he ever hurt you tonight? Well, listen, he, he surprised me with the hook. He hit me with a hook, a good oh, hook. Hurt. Yes, it did hurt. And back to the question, yeah. were you afraid of being in peril? Man, once I go in there, it's all, it's all, all balls to the wall, bro. I mean, I, I feel the shots, and I know they're going to hurt, and I know he could take me out if it's possible if he came with the wrong one. But for me, man, I'm game. I go to the end. When I put these on, it's a wrap. Take me on the stretch. You know? Final thought, ball. final thought. Would you do this in a non-exhibition circumstance if you could get a license? No, I mean, it's going to do this. For ch this is bigger than fighting for, you know, winning the championship. We, we're humanitarians. We're helping people. That's bigger. That's, I'm into that now. And I'd like to thank Magic Mike, Jet, Ron, all my sparring partners for kicking my ass to get me in shape. I love you guys. Can't wait to get back in the, the gym with you. Mike, thank you. Enjoyed it. Thank you very much. All thank right. you, bro. It's Roy. Thank you. Congratulations. Yeah, I want to thank all my spawn partners as well, everybody that contributed. My, my, my contribution to Kobe Bryant. In his greatest. building. Yes, sir. So I had to give a tribute to, to uh, Kobe because he was my latest greatest. Michael Jordan always be my number one favorite. But Kobe and Iverson right there next, second and third. So And LeBron, too. Everybody's good. So I just enjoy sports, man. I just thank God I was able to come out here and do what I did. And like I said, once again, Pensacola in the house. If it's Pensacola to him to go back in there again, guess what? I'm back in there again. Thank you, Roy. Thank you. Appreciate it. All right, and thanks to the Staples Center.